Hey guys, it's Monica from Monica's Art Boutique. Welcome, welcome to day 22. Today we are doing the White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Um, and in particular, I really want to focus on the White Rabbit with the pocket watch. So um, you can follow along, get your supplies ready. I have a giveaway for you as usual and as usual we're going to start at 205 so you can go get your supplies you need paper some markers watercolor pencil pencil crayon you need just a regular pencil and an eraser too if you don't have watercolor totally fine if you don't have all the watercolor paper and all that stuff don't worry about it just work with what you have okay I'm just gonna share this video into the areas where we need to go to. So we're gonna share it to Monica's Art Boutique page, Facebook page, day 21. So if you're online already, just say, where are you from? What are you doing for Easter? I have started my up upcycling project. So I'm doing uh, some gardening this weekend and I'm also gonna do some baking. Today I'm going to attempt to make my sourdough bread, I think. And I'm also gonna do some banana bread and probably do some bookkeeping, this kind of thing get ready for our next, uh, you know, sort of month, sort of holiday, which this is gonna be tying into. So um, I'll just finish sharing and then I'll tell you what our giveaway is today. So I'm just gonna open that up and we always start drawing at 205 so for those of you who've been here since the beginning you'll know that for those of you who are new you can go get yourself some water get yourself some paper pencil crayons watercolor pencils whatever you need uh, whatever you have you don't have to worry if you don't have exactly what I have it's fine um, and for those people who are new and you're watching, um, I have a little store on Lonsdale. It's a little boutique gallery and we have a studio there. We teach classes and workshops and camps and all kinds of things. And then we also have about 50 artists that are represented there. So we sell everything from native art to jewelry to um, soaps and candles and anything that's pretty much handmade. So there's lots of cool stuff going on there. So check us out. It's under Monica's Art Boutique on Facebook, or you can just Google it. We got the package, yay, awesome. I'm so glad, Chelsea, woo. -hoo. Hope you like all your stuff. Um, and that leaves me to today's um, giveaway. So our next holiday is Mother's Day and it's coming up, I guess, in May. So we are putting together some really cool kits that are gonna be available. Uh, one of the items inside is gonna be Ambleside Soap. She's made heart soaps. So these are rose and we'll also have a heart um, coloring sheet that you can color and then put in your window plus a couple other other items so today our person who wins is going to get one of these soaps and we're going to cover the mailing cost for you so if you win this you'll just have to supply us your address and we'll ship it off next week so make sure as usual that you send in your drawing by 8 30. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Sue. Um, hi, Julia. Hi, Justina. Make sure you send in your drawing by 8.30 p.m. to be entered to win in the draw. And then we're going to post the all of the, the pictures on our Facebook page. And then we also um, are going to 
put up a show. So at the end of all of this, we're gonna have a little show at our studio and a little show at um, Art World Expo too. So all the drawings are gonna go and be showcased as well. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. There we go. So we are gonna do The White Rabbit today from Alice in Wonderland is one of my all time favorite shows. Um, and I'll just give you a couple of minutes to get ready. I'm just gonna have a sip of water. <laughs> and I'm going to do this step by step. So you can embellish it as usual. I'm always trying to encourage you to do, you know, sort of your own with what you are seeing, but, you know, change it and make it different. So you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. Um, it's awesome that you can do different things, um, not just what I'm doing, right? So I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna focus on a hat, a bunny, and then a clock, okay? So um, if you want to follow along, just follow along. Um, okay, so we've shared it everywhere. And here we go. So I'm just gonna start with a pencil. plain pencil is fine. I'm going to use a little bit of a darker one just so that you can see it. Hi, Hannah. Just so you can see it a little bit better. But for your pencil, you can just use any regular pencil that you have at home. Okay. So don't worry um, about this darker one. I'm going to start with the hat. So um, it's going to be like the Mad Hatter hat. So I'm going to make it so we have a line kind of going this way, a line kind of going this way. And then we can have, she'll make it a little bit more steep here. There we go. And then we're gonna add this top part and I'm gonna erase just this line here for myself. I love Alice in Wonderland. When I saw, actually went with one of my art students, we went to see Alice in Wonderland and he made a costume and I painted my face like the Red Queen and we went to watch the Alice in Wonderland with at the movie theater. He was like 10. It was so cute. Rob came and his mom came too. We've known them for a long time, but he's been painting at our studio and it was super fun. I love that movie. Okay, so there's my hat. And then I'm going to do um, a clock, a big pocket watch here. So I'm gonna have a pocket watch kind of like lying on the table. And then to get that 3D effect, you wanna just give it a bit of a rounded edge here. So that looks like the edge. And in the middle, you've got, you can just keep the clock the same way if you want. Although in Alice in Wonderland's world, they don't have time really the way that we have time, right? So you could put 12, you could put seven, you can put six here, you can put nine here, you can put two here. Okay, so it's all different. And then you can have a little thing going up top and a little hoop for the chain, which we can add in later. <clears throat> I got all the bunny soaps. Oh, yay. <laughs> I'm so glad. Okay, and then we're gonna do the white rabbit. So the white rabbit is, um, you can make him all kinds of different shapes. The one thing that he has on always in everything, he's got different coats on, um, but he's always got a coat. So sometimes he has a coat with hearts on it. Sometimes he has just a plain brown coat. Sometimes it's a tweed coat, um, but we're gonna make him kind of popping out here. And the one thing that we want to keep consistent with the uh, sort of the Mad Hatter and the Alice in Wonderland theme is that he's wearing a jacket. So we're going to give him a little face. So you can make him like realistic or you can make him kind of a cartoony look. Doesn't matter. Whatever you kind of want to do. And we're going to give him some giant ears. Another giant ear. You know, there we go. And then you can give him a big 
here. Sometimes he wears glasses, sometimes he doesn't. Um, for this guy, I think I'm just gonna put him in with no, nothing yet. I'm just gonna leave that open for now with his eyes. I'm not gonna put them in. I'm gonna use the watercolor first and the pencil crayon first here. And what you can do is add a coat. You can add, I think what I'll do is I wanna add the little bow tie here. Little bow tie. And then we've got, he's got like a little vest on. And of course, like you guys can change this and improvise. If you want him to be wearing something else, go for it. It's, it's all good. So he's kind of standing behind here. You can make him a little chubbier if you want. a slight bit and then you can avoid having to do it his arms and stuff so he's got maybe he could be holding he's got a jacket on I can put those back actually so jacket can go down here and we'll just put little eyes like that for now okay and that's all I'm gonna do for now and then this is the part where we can be creative with what we want it to look like so I want my hat to be checkers because I love checkers so I'm gonna make a checkered hat and right here actually I'm gonna make a big flower coming off of here We're gonna keep going here and then these lines to get that 3d effect you're just gonna kind of turn them slightly as they go so see it's kind of moved a little bit not much okay and if you want anything else in the back here you can have a table That was fast shipping actually, I'm surprised. Because when I went to the post office, they told me that um, they were not guaranteeing express post anymore. And I'm just gonna do some tablecloth here. And if you want some hearts, because Alice in Wonderland always has some hearts. You could have them be balloons if you want, or whatever, or just hearts on the wall. I'm gonna make mine balloons. Maybe little balloons floating in the back. Okay, and maybe some clouds. So that's it for the drawing part. If you want to add anything else, I totally encourage you to do your own thing too. So um, the best part about art is that you can change it all the time and you don't have to make it the exact same as everybody else, right?
great. So I'm just gonna start with my watercolor pencils. And basically you're just gonna fill this whole thing in. So however, whatever you drew, um, you're just gonna add in. So I'm gonna start with my background, maybe my hearts back here. And so for those of you who are just tuning in, I see a lot of new names. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, we are drawing every day at two o'clock. So I share this on Monica's Art Boutique page and also Art World Expo. So some of you are familiar with those two uh, brands. So I run the store and I also run an event called Art World Expo, which is the 10th annual this year. Um, and we've postponed it till December, but it will be happening, so don't worry. Um, and every day at two o'clock we are drawing so people from all around BC and all around the world are submitting their um, their awesome drawings every day we take suggestions from people too so if you have any ideas and you want to do something send in your idea you can do a red bow tie if you have a pencil crayon you can you can fill this in a little bit more. I am going to use my watercolor pencils right now. So they will let me smear. So they'll let me blend things a little bit more. So I'm not going to fully get all the, the color in here. Although if you're working with pencil crayon, I would suggest that you do it. Unless you want it to look, you know, not totally fully colored in. That's okay too. It's up to you. I love Monica's Art Boutique. Aw, thanks, Justin. I love it too. I actually miss my little store. I've been going, but by myself, it's not the same when you don't have your classes and your people coming in to see you, you know? It's different. Although this is helping a lot. This virtual, so, so cute. I know, right? Hi, Brigitte. Um, this is helping a lot. I get to connect with all of you guys still, and I get to still meet new people, and I'm enjoying seeing what you guys are drawing. And even though I can't see you do it in person, I feel like you're producing some really amazing artwork, which I'm so happy to see helps brighten my day for sure so with watercolors you just use a paintbrush you can use your you can dip it too but you can just basically just use the water a little bit to to smear it in see so it gives it this nice light illustrated kind of feel the thing about watercolor it always has reminded me of storybooks for kids you know you always see those really faint um paintings there I, I would assume lots of those were watercolor which is kind of cool there we go and then I'm going to take my same with back here I'm just going to kind of blend it in a little bit so it's a little bit softer for the blue sky um, you can kind of get this effect with uh, pastels too so if you have pastels chalk pastels work like this too you just use your finger to kind of smear them around a little bit i will have to come check it out when this virus goes away yeah when we have our art show justin you're gonna have to submit a, a drawing here one of these days you keep tuning in but you're not drawing so i challenged justin today to do a drawing and submit it before this is over so no better time to learn when you can do it online with us for free, right? There we go. And see my little pink kind of went into the sky and that's okay too, doesn't matter. Okay, so that's pretty simple. And then you can do some, maybe some pink in here. So he's a white rabbit, so we're not really gonna do anything with him because we wanna keep him white. If you were painting this, I would paint like an underpainting, maybe gray or peachy kind of color and then go over with white. But since we can't really do that on paper, you just leave him white. And I wanna do my, my, Hat with black and white. I'm too busy right now printing almost 500. Wow, awesome. That's really good. 
Justin is printing um, things for uh, people in the hospital on his 3D printers, which is so cool. So obviously this is gonna take a little bit longer than half an hour. So if you don't finish this by the time we're done today online, you can just keep going. Um, take, you know, take a couple minutes after the class, finish up or add. You don't have to finish it right now. Hi, Sylvia. Um, you don't have to finish it right now. It's totally up to you. As long as you get it in before the 8.30 time, then we will we'll be able to enter you into the draw for the heart soap by Ambleside Soap, which is going to be going into our Mother's Day packages. And you can also um, be part of our art shows. So we're going to do two art shows, one at the Art World Expo, and then one also in our store. So we're going to feature all these drawings in some way. I haven't really figured that part out yet. Maybe like on a virtual screen and then have people watch. Um, our window actually faces the this, this street. So I was thinking of um, setting up a TV actually now so that people can watch um, like the loop of all the drawings that everybody's done so far. So that might be something to do. We can, we can install something like that, um, but I'm not sure. Probably the same thing for the Art Expo. We'll just have it looping on a TV. And then if anybody wants to print anything and actually fizz, like you know, bring them in or frame them or whatever, we can do that too. So there's lots of ways. I think everybody's getting pretty creative um, with all of the ways that we're doing things right now, which is kind of cool. Mm. I can give him a blue vest. And again, so I'm just kind of filling it in because I know that my, and I'm not really worried about it too, too much, just because I know that my trusty paintbrush with my water will help me blend this in. So let's see, I don't have to make it really detailed and specific for the watercolor paint, which is so nice. The watercolor pencil crayons, they're so great like that because you can really be flexible. And then I'm just going to keep going on to here and get some of this done. The other cool thing that we're doing right now, which is really awesome, um, is we have this, I have a, a business partner. Her name's Judith. I've known her for a long time. She's been painting at my studio for years and years and actually when she first started painting, <clears throat> it was crazy because she's she said she'd never painted before and she painted this rose that was like so realistic. It was insane, like I couldn't believe it. And um, she was just recovering from cancer. So she was using paint as a way to relax and, and all that. So um, that was probably about eight years ago or something like that. And um, she's, she's uh, a district manager for Jenny Craig so she's doing lots of sales and merchandising and stuff like that so I talked to her a lot about different things and um, I mentioned to her that I wanted to start this vending art project and so she said oh my god I have to be partners with you for that so we went out and we got two vending machines and we are looking for small art and small artisan items to put in there um, because actually turns out that the vending machine is so awesome right now because you don't actually have to touch anybody to get your product and they're freestanding. So you don't have to talk to a cashier and you don't have to like bump into any customers. So right now we have one vending machine at the BC ferries at the Tawasin, um, ferry terminal, which is, um, great once everything gets running again. Um, right now it's a little bit slow, but I'm looking for a second location for the other vending machine right now. Um, and I'm hoping to get into like a grocery store, um, which I think is probably a great place right now because they're so busy. 
Um, so I've reached out to some local grocery stores here in North Van and I'm looking for more products. So if you are interested or if you know people who are, you can head over to Vendi Arts. I just tagged or I just posted this morning a call to artists. So if you know any artists, I'm going to tag the page in the comments here so you can see it. Um, there we go you can send this sub your submission so there's an instructions where does email um with the fairies one we have to get approval for all from all the managers there for all the products that are going into the vending machine um but for the next location i'm sure it'll be a little bit more flexible um because it'll be hopefully at a grocery store so i'm super excited about that too which is kind of fun so it's kind of funny how even if they're you know the stores are open there's other opportunities you guys you know there's other things that we can do and there's still so much we can do it's pretty great <clears throat> so share that with your artsy friends or if you have an idea too you know you never know i'm just gonna outline this guy a little bit and then obviously i would do i'm gonna do this background I'm just not gonna do it now because you saw me here do it so you're basically gonna do the same thing here if you're doing the checkers um, I'm gonna do a little bit on the pocket watch and I just want to show you some of these blendable markers and how to do the ink so I'm going to just with a regular pen so I'm gonna show you that too and I'm just gonna outline this guy with a little bit of black um, but again I'm not gonna really focus on doing it too much because this is a watercolor pencil so it just it's much easier to blend this in and again you can do the the clouds you can add in more shading and highlighting oops so i'm just going to blend in a little bit it's just to give it a bit of movement here and you can add more to this too you can add different details pockets on his shirt or on his jacket if you want I'm just going to blend that through a little bit. And tomorrow is Friday. It's Good Friday. So tomorrow, if you guys want to get your eggs ready, we are going to do some egg painting. There is a... There is a Facebook event page. And I'll tag it right now. Easter egg painting. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know where it is. I'll have to find it. But I'll post it. So all you need to get is some... If you have some acrylic paint or watercolor paint, or if you just have markers, great. Whatever you've got, we're gonna decorate some eggs together and get into the Easter spirit, no matter what. I have seen that people are doing Easter virtual Easter egg hunts too, so I'm not sure what that's about, but there is a group on Facebook. I think it's called like Easter egg, Easter egg hunt 2020 or something. And uh, I think people are drawing eggs and like putting them in their windows so that people, same, kind of like the heart idea, but a bit different because it's gonna be Easter eggs. So that's kind of cool. You could do the same thing for people in your neighborhood if you wanted. So there's that. I'm gonna add the chain after I do the background, but for the pencil crayons, or sorry, the markers, you can use pencil crayons too. So yesterday, um, this is just a regular pencil crayon here. If you want to add more color and not have it so faded, you can add pencil crayon. And you're just pushing harder with your pencil crayon. So see, I'm just adding a bit more pressure to my pencil crayon. And this isn't a watercolor pencil. It's just a pencil crayon. So you can add more. If you don't, if you do have the 
markers, blendable markers, or even just regular markers, you can also do the same thing. Um, these are really cool blendable markers. They're called dual brush pens, um, and our suppliers are still open, so we are shipping these if you guys are interested in any of the stuff I'm using, or if you need supplies, it's one way to support our studio right now. So you can kind of add in a little bit. And what's really cool about these is that you can blend these. So I'm just gonna go outside on the outside of this for now. And you can add the details, like those little swirly things inside later, if you want to. What's cool about these is that they come with this blending pencil, pen, marker kind of thingy. And you can blend, see? So it makes it look a lot brighter Especially when you're, especially when you're looking at it on a screen too, you can see that the having this watercolor sort of blended, um, the watercolor is very light. But once you start using these markers, they just brighten up everything, which is cool. So I'd encourage you to get those if you if you are interested in learning a little bit more about art and the art process. This is a great thing to try. So see, you can see how much brighter that that is versus this, right? So I'm gonna do these as well. I'm gonna do some of the this nose here, maybe some of this. And what these markers do as well is that you you can kind of cover up your pencil lines. So um, because it's not acrylic, with acrylic paint, you can cover up all your your pencils, your pencil marks, and. Um, but with like watercolor and pencil crayon, you can you can still see it. So what's nice about these markers is that they kind of help you hide your pencil marks from from the start. Some people, when they get really good at art, they don't use pencil anymore. They just kind of go in with their paint or whatever medium that they're working with and they just kind of go for it. Um, but I always encourage, especially beginners, always have, even when you're painting, um, to sketch it out first and then that way you have a plan and then you don't end up with like one giant ear here and like a little tiny ear here because you didn't have the under you know the, the plan underneath after you start painting so what's cool about these even is that you can take it and you can kind of see so it just adds another dimension to it as well pretty cute right and then I'm gonna show you two with a pen so a pen will, this is my trusty 80s pen, which I've had for, I don't even know how many years, but um, it has a bunch of different, made in France, um, has a bunch of different um, colors. I'm just gonna use black. And what you can do is, if you want, you can add black outlines onto things. You can add more detail into your heart with your black ink. So then it pops out even more. You can outline with your black pen. So what that does with the black pen is, again, it just pops out a little bit more for you so that you're not so flat. It just helps give that three dimension. Quality, that three-dimensional quality to your images. So you can do it that way with the pen, you see? That's one way. If you have the markers, you can also do it with the markers, which is kind of cool. I'll do that flower afterwards, so I'll show you with the marker as well. This is a black marker. And I'm gonna just add, so I don't need to fill the whole thing in. Just give it a bit of a 
There we go. And you can take your blendy marker. And I'm going to blend a little bit. See, so what it does, it gives you this nice finish of more of a realistic kind of 3D quality. I mean, we're not drawing in a super realistic style, obviously, um, but having those little tricks will help you get your drawings to be a little bit more three-dimensional so that they pop out a little bit more. Um, and also kind of reflects reality, right? We have shadow and light on everything. There you go. So I would encourage you all to keep going, keep drawing today. Um, send in your drawings by 8.30. See, I've got lots of work left to do. I've got to do the tablecloth, the clock, the clock here, the little pocket watch, and then maybe the chain coming out. So there's still a lot of work here for me to do. And I hope you liked that session. Um, today's draw is a heart soap from Ambleside Soap. Um, please check out our page. It's Monica's Art Boutique. It's mabartstudio.com. If you want to check out our website, we have a whole online store that's all full of cool stuff um, that we can ship to you. We're doing subscription boxes every month. We're doing online classes, all kinds of cool things, gift cards, DIY kits, anything you can think of really to keep you creative right now. Um, and we appreciate all the support that we're getting from everybody. Um, and that helps us keep going. So hopefully when we get back to it, we can just open and resume as usual and also have this online component because I don't think I want to stop. This is so much fun. I feel like I have a whole new group of people that we're talking with. And some of you I'm just meeting, some of you have known for a long time and it's fun for me too. So Thanks again, everybody. I hope you have a great afternoon. Get out and get some sunshine. Tomorrow, you'll need about two eggs. If you have markers, paint, whatever you have, um, just bring it to your session. 2 p.m., we're going to do Easter eggs and paint on Easter eggs. So I'll see you guys then. And I look forward to seeing your Alice in Wonderland white rabbit drawings today, later on, before 8.30. Have a great day, you guys. Thanks so much for watching.